Hey guys, welcome back to our next video. I'm excited today to talk about daily habits with you. I'm back with Ruben Diaz and we've both got some really, uh, I think, important uh, daily habits that we have. Ruben, what, what, what's, what's your one daily habit in the morning, first thing in the morning that you do? Okay, first thing I do, I don't turn on my iPhone. Okay. Oh, that's, that's the most so thing. important. <laughs> and, you know, and, as you said, there's so much, many little things that can really yep. impact your life. We're going to go yep. through uh, some examples and things that we actually apply. It might be yep. different for you guys, right? We're not putting mm -hmm. out the formula that works for everybody, but there are going to right. be some principles that I think are going to be good uh, assets to take and then apply to your own specific um, specific case. But let, let me give you a, a, a little overview of what I do. So I wake yep. up um, pretty at the same time. Today I woke up a little bit early. I know you wake up earlier than I do, but I woke up at 5.15. Um, yep. I wake up between 5 and 5.15 uh, every day. Uh, yeah, the first I wake up at 5 every morning. Yep. Is it? Okay. I thought yep. you, you were doing like 4 a.m., right? Before. I was I was doing 4.30, and uh, I just found that it was a better balance in the day to go to 5, and then I could stay up a little bit later until okay. 9 in the evening. There and so it's a, it's a better balance of my day. Okay, yep. so we're pretty much the same. So we wake up really yep. early. Uh, it's important yep. that for me, I wake up at the, always at the same time because that gives yep. me consistency. It also gives me right. a mindset of looking forward to something at the next day. Now, I'll tell you what I'm and your body, for. yeah, and your body is um, gets used to a rhythm, and I think that's really critical. I used to wake up at all random times. Exactly. I would think, okay, what time do I need to get up tomorrow? Uh, I'll set the alarm for six thirty. Oh, seven thirty. Uh, Four thirty, uh, depending on whatever it was. And then I, I figured, you know what? I'm going to find a time that's going to work basically no matter what, no matter what the schedule is. Mm -hmm. And I found that now uh, fine tuning at five o'clock in the morning is always ideal. You're right. Yeah. You know, and waking up starts on when you go to bed last night. Because if you That's go right. to bed inconsistent, you're going to be waking up inconsistent. So the, yeah. the easiest way to do, if you guys want to try it out, is that you actually wake up always at the same time. Then it will make mm -hmm. you tired, even if you're not used to waking up, you know, going to bed earlier than, it, than you usually need to do yeah. to, get, um, uh, to be waking up early. So what you do is yeah. you wake up two or three times, five times, six times, always at the same time. You're going to be super tired. Then you're going to start mm -hmm. going to bed earlier. So anyhow, yeah. I wake up at that time. You know, a little hint that I have uh, for myself, Amisha, is yeah. that I try to do something that I really like the first, first minutes, okay? Because this ah, will yes. make me wake up in a spirit, you know, in a mindset to, of, oh, I want to do this, right? Because then exactly. when yep. you wake up, you think, oh, oh, you know, I gotta wake up. Oh, it's so hard. No, no, I'm looking forward to that. So, what's the first thing when you so open like, your eyes? What's the first thing you do in the morning? So, I like to read. Okay, I like to read. Yep. So, the first thing I do yep. is if I'm reading a good book, and if I'm following that flow, I leave it at the cliff for the next day. Yeah. Okay. This is a <laughs> trick that I do with myself. So I leave it exactly. at a cliff, then it's like a, watching a movie. I don't watch movies, so that, that's another yep. thing, but if you leave yep. it at a certain cliff of suspense or something that's gonna happen after, I leave it at that point. Yep. So anyhow, I go through that. Yep. And So um, far, you and I are the same. We we both do the same thing. Wake up and start reading. Yep. Is it? Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. actually, uh, wait a second. I do another thing before that. The first thing I do, I okay. drink uh, two cups of warm water with lemon. Okay. Ooh, Ooh nice. Okay. I have one cup of, uh, of cold water. Is it? I know okay. warm water with lemons better, but I like I, a big I've tried cup warm of water. cold water. W yeah. Warm water, and it just um, yep. puts me more relaxed, okay? Yeah. Um, yep. So I drink that. Um, I'm a big believer in vitamin D, so sun. Yep. Since I live in high you know, uh, um, latitudes, I have less sun. Yep. So I take yep. a lot of vitamin D. I've researched this. Yep. A lot is yep. means more than normal. Um, right. <laughs> and uh, and also take vitamin C. I'll be those those two are really critical ones that I can have yeah. enhance my immune system. So the first thing I do is take the vitamin C, take the, the vitamin D, and uh, take the um, the two glasses of lemon. Then yeah, then I go to reading. Then right. after we have yep. that, I'll, in the, the process of reading, I'm reading also something that is devotional for me. I'm a believer, yep. believer, so I have high mm -hmm. trust in God, divine power. So I want to get that right. power really early on. Okay, this is very yep. personal. We're sharing this what we do. It's also yep. your own decision, but it mm -hmm. has worked really well for me. So I do that. And I think the first thing. If, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason you do that, I do the same thing. The reason we do that is because we want to know that we have something that's bigger than us, whatever it is, if we call it God, or if we call it Mother Nature, if we call it whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Um, there's something that's bigger than us that we can rely on and that we can um, sort of give a, a lot of our fears and anxieties to, exactly. right? Exactly. And I think when we do that, um, it 
eliminates the fear of the day. No matter how big the, the challenge or the task is of the day, mm -hmm. it kind of um, melts that away and it gives us more confidence in the day. Absolutely you agree? right. Absolutely right. Because that yeah. will give you the mindset of that there's certain things that are so hard that you have to go through, mm -hmm. but you, yep. you're starting with the right foot of confidence and confidence yep. and trust in divine power. That's my, my own experience. So after that, um, and the next step is immediately exercise. I got to go exercise because I want to boost my endorphin. I want to boost yep. my dopamine. So I want yep. to have a, a natural high actually, right? Yeah, and, um, exactly. I, if, if I'm able, I'll do it outside. Even if it's cold, I dress up really, mm -hmm. you know, uh, fairly well for it. Appropriately, yeah. Equipment, yep. and I go for a run. And Love I have it. two options. Either I do run with, uh, I never hear music because I think okay. that music I want to relax with music. I want to mm -hmm. use that time of running to learn something. Actually, yep. there have been studies very quickly that mm -hmm. they put mm -hmm. uh, actually uh, studies in the army that uh, people uh, would do an IQ test right after the exercise or yep. another group did IQ test with no exercise. And the group that yep. did uh, an uh, IQ test right after the exercise had 20% higher IQ. Right. Yeah. So it's amazing. It's yeah. not really that. And let me cut you off there. That. So, yeah. so I do the I do the exercise in the morning too. I, I get out when I can um, mm -hmm. get outside. But something that I've done, and I just want to bring this across um, for the people that are watching. Um, I, I I made myself a home gym. Now people say, oh, I don't have room for a home gym. I have a oh, tiny wow. garage. I made a corner of my garage uh, into a home gym. I got a bike. I, I put it on a spinner so I can ride it outside or inside if I want to. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what it does for me is it allows me something that's very interesting with my morning routine. I'm just going to cut you off for a second. Mm -hmm. Is I want certain things to be automatic without a thought process, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up in the morning and have a thought process and think to myself, hmm, um, should I exercise today? Uh, what kind of weather? Let me look out the window and see oh, yeah, what the right. weather's like. And, and, and let that determine whether or not I'm going to do something. So if it's minus uh, 15 outside and it's blowing snow, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a lot less likely to want to go running, right? And so what I do is I have certain things that are automatic. For me, five days a week, Monday through Friday, um, sometimes on a Sunday, um, I'm going to exercise, okay? That's automatic. There's no ands, ifs, buts, or maybes. It, it's going to happen no matter what. And by having that home gym, I can always have a default. So for me, jumping on my bike, on my spinner, and being able to do that, you know, 20, 25 minutes of cardio and then doing some anaerobic exercises after that, that's a default. And then I can jump in and I can say, you know what, today I feel like I want to get outside. I want to get some fresh air. So I'm going to go on a run today outside or, or whatever. But having a default that I, when I wake up in the morning, I don't think, ah, how does my body feel? That's a bit sore. No, I don't think I'm going to work out. It's just an automatic default that it's going to happen. And so one of the ways that I've created that, and I've, I've taken many years to kind of formulate this, is have something that's simple that I can say, you know what, no matter how the weather is outside or whatever, I'm going to have some form of routine of exercise in, in this case. That's just um, interesting. So that but actually, do you, there's, there's do, no you, question. do you plan yeah. what you're going to do the next day exercise or you just um, are spontaneous on mm -hmm. that? Most of the time, I'm spontaneous on okay. it. Yeah. See, see, yeah. see, guys, this is something that you can apply the same principle, but do it different ways. Yep. I do it differently from Misha. I'll tell you how I do. Yes. And both things work well, right? It's just the principle yep. exercise. We believe that it has to be there. Okay. So that mm -hmm. I give you the the, the the difference here. I am. I look at the next day weather, and I decide what yep. I'm going to do the next day. Okay. So uh, I rely. On, yep. I rely on those 12 hours of forecast. Actually, a little bit less than that. And today it's very, fairly, very accurate. So when I look at it, so can I run outside or do I have to do something that is not outside? In my case, I could set up a gym, but I did it on purpose. I don't want to do for myself. I don't want to do gym in house. You know why? Because I want to get out because I work at home. That's different, right? You work outside. So I want to make right. sure that I pick up my car. I go to, um, you know, public gym. I do there whenever, whatever I want to do. It could be swimming, could be running, could be, but I'm doing most of it just running there on the treadmill. And um, I, I come back. So I want that routine. And I do it on purpose because I want to get out, make sure I get out and come in again. And I see people, right? Now with all this situation we're living, I can do that, right? But now it's good weather outside. I can run outside. So anyhow, we do this exercise. After I exercise, I come back. And I'm blessed that I can do either sauna or a steam shower. I like to do either both. Sometimes I don't do, I don't have time, but I like to end with that, okay? And very important has been like for about 20 years. I, my shower always ends with the coldest water possible, okay? 
the, the, the coldest, coldest water possible because this will enhance your immune system and also give you the really the excitement, the good excitement of a mindset to go for the day, yeah. right? So I, exactly. I end that yeah. with a cold uh, shower and then I have my breakfast. Yeah. And my breakfast Amazing. is like <laughs> lunch, okay, guys? I, it's, yeah. like, it's a big lunch. I can eat yeah. uh, salad, I can eat beans, I can eat... Uh, um, you know, whole wheat uh, rice. It's a big lunch that I have to eat right after. You know, I'm not exactly. in a rush. And yep. by the way, I do two meals a day. And uh, yep. I know, Misha, that you've been uh, doing I've been, that I've lately. been playing around with this. We'll, we'll get into okay. that kind of stuff in a, in a future video. Let's not give them too much here. Um, I think we're giving them a lot of things. Um, last thing I want to focus on is um, when is your most productive time of day? For me, I know that the, the first few hours of the morning are the most productive. So I know that as soon as my regular routine is over, which is most of the same things that, that Ruben's ex uh, explained, um, you know, I've got my exercise done, I've got a, a nice big breakfast in, um, sometimes actually I've been playing with not having breakfast until 10 or even sometimes noon mm. and I'll just have two meals a day as well. Mm. Um, but anyways, so that's over with. And then I know that the first three hours sort of from to 11 or 12 o'clock in the morning are my most effective time of the morning. It's my most creative time uh, of the entire day. And so if I can um, schedule my most important things to be done in that morning, in those morning hours, mm -hmm. that's going to be the most um, use of my time and then in the afternoon I'll try and schedule a little bit less important things yeah absolutely how do you feel about that Ruben? absolutely yeah. you know for me also I have the most productive time during the morning and I try right. to schedule you know less meetings although I connect with Europe a lot but less yep. meetings are during that time because I want to do yep. the most productive work during those hours of the morning during right. the day I also schedule time for learning Okay. Yeah. I, it's important. I learn something. I want to learn something. It could be either YouTube. It could be a book. It could be a course. I want you know. And when I share this with people, they say, "How can you do it? Right? How, how is that yeah. possible? Just because you prioritize, yeah. right? I just you know you yeah, have exactly. to decide what you do with your time. And I'm taking yeah. sometime depends on the right now. I'm passing through some sprints that I have to do, so I have to do it less. But in normal yeah. week, I probably do like two hours. I dedicate to learn something. Yeah, I want to learn yeah, a certain amazing. topic, okay? And again, <laughs> yeah. how you do it, you just prioritize. You put it in your schedule, okay? That's the, exactly. the way that I, that I program that. So anyhow, the best awesome. time, I think it's, for me at least, is in the, during the morning. And then yep. I end my day, I hope, and by the way, I want to go back to this. I only, I'm yep. only connecting my phone. I'm only turning on my phone about two hours after I wake up. Now, this is amazing. recent, Love okay? It. This is recent. Yep. I've been yep. doing this the last couple of months. Before, there was this rush, right? This, this, <laughs> this dependency when you wake up, oh, let me turn on the phone, right? What's happening in the yeah. world? What's happening here with emails, everything? But yeah. now, I don't get that urge. You know, it's all about yeah. habits because you plan your brain, you program your brain not to be exactly. uh, craving for that. Now I'm craving yeah. for the things that I've been planning to do the next morning, right? So you That's can't amazing. Because all that things. stuff is all that stuff is just noise, right? That stuff that detracts from your day, detracts from your attention and so forth, and it makes you less intentional about your day. Absolutely. Um, I think we we want to round off the video here. We want to kind of start summarizing it now. Um, but I think those key things that we talked about, those things are the things that have worked for us, okay? Mm -hmm. But in them is a theme that we are intentional about the first few hours of our day, mm -hmm. and that's critical. Or even if it's not gonna be the first few, it's gonna be intentional about the hours of our day, okay? I personally think, I, I, I know Ruben agrees with me, um, that the first hours of your day are the most critical because you have the most um, choice over them. Yep. People start to take control of your hours of the day the, the longer the day goes on. By the time noon hits in the afternoon and then into the evening hours, um, life in general has, has taken a hijacked basically your day and it's going to start trying to control the direction of the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's much harder to do that in the morning hours, especially when most people are still sleeping. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we found that to be so critical. You guys don't need to copy our habits, okay? If, mm -hmm. if some of them don't work for you, um, don't take them. If you do find some value in them, I, I do definitely encourage you guys to take this week to implement some of these principles or some principles that you guys want on your own. Michelle? Take some time. Yes. Yeah, so I have one thing I have to share. One thing you yes. just said, because yeah, yeah. there's experiments that we do also. I put things yep. in and things out. I haven't told you yep. this. This is gonna be a novelty yes. for you, okay? <laughs> so okay. I've been, Today is uh, has been what about almost four months during the year, right? Throughout the year, yep. right? Yep. We're ending yep. the fourth month, uh, the eighteenth of December last year. So it has been yep. one hundred what one hundred thirty, one hundred forty days. 
Um, yeah. I started doing 100 push-ups a day. Every Ooh. single day. Every single really? day. Really? Really? Okay? Every single day. <laughs> now, what happens is it's a super nice experiment. I challenge you guys to do this. This is a, a takeaway okay. as we have shared different things that you can apply. And you also tell us what has been your own habits, things they've been working yes. on. And I challenge this little thing. And it's not once you know you do it. Actually, I don't do 100 at once. It's too much. Right. But I want to do 100 yep. during the day. And then when I'm working, let's say at you know 1 o'clock, at 3 o'clock, and then at 6 o'clock, I want to do yep. 30, 40, 30, 20. Okay? So I split yep. through yep. the day. And the advantage of this is that you will boost your circulation during the day. So I may be working on a computer. Right. And I haven't done, you know, I want to do 30 push-ups. It looks crazy, but you just get out of the <laughs> computer, do 30 push-ups, and you just feel yep. super energized, okay? Love so it. I split yep. the, this uh, 100 push-ups a day. I've shared this with other friends. They're doing it, and man, it's amazing, right? It's it's just an incredible awesome. thing. Little thing that you can put in your habits. Yeah, I love it. And and that's the important thing. You can you can add things, you can subtract things. It doesn't matter. Your routine is going to be um, molded throughout the years. I've changed my morning my my day routine many many times. But the in, the important thing is that you guys have some things that you're intentional about every day. Too many people go throughout their lives and they're unintentional about their entire days. Mm -hmm. And I think intentionality is what makes you successful. And, and we're talking about success in our finances and in our personal lives. Um, and so I think that intentionality is gonna bring you into the top 10 percentile of people that are gonna be successful, okay? Because of the mindset. Um, you program your mindset. Exactly. And then the mindset, when it's programmed yeah. in a certain way, it will yield results, right? So you're planning exactly. yourself so you have the best conditions to produce yeah. the most that you want for your life. Exactly. Tell them about what next week's video is about. I'm really excited about next week's as well. You know, in life, we have to take risks. And how much yeah. is risk that is worthwhile taking? That's what we're going to talk about next week. And next awesome. week, you're going Can't to wait. some examples about risk management in your life. Exactly. I, if you guys want to do us a favor, which I would love it if you did, um, you can do a couple of really easy things. Give this video a like. Just hit that like button uh, right there, down there at the bottom. That's really helpful for us. Um, another thing you guys can do is, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're going to know every morning, every Monday morning at 6.30 when a video pops up, you guys are going to be notified of it. And I think it's going to be something that you're going to look forward to every Monday morning. Um, take a few minutes this week to write out a few habits habits that you guys want to have, start implementing them. Even if it's just one habit per week, um, start implementing them, start making them happen. You're gonna, you guys are going to see a massive transformation. So until next time, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll talk to you later. See you.